Hi everyone and welcome to my video today. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. I would very much appreciate it. Um, so today, we are going to be creating a natural, dewy skin um, makeup look for you. So if you're ready to see that, stay tuned. So first things first, I'm going to start with moisturized skin, which I've already done. I'm going to start with a face primer. This particular one is from Yves Saint Laurent, and it is the Touche Clot Blur Primer. I'll just do like one or two pumps. And I'm focusing this on the center of the face. I like that primer because it's really smoothing and it's hydrating. Next, I'm going to take this product. It's called the Strobe Liquid Lotion for MAC. And I'm going to take about two or three pumps and apply with a beauty blender onto the high points of the face. I haven't used this product in ages and I forgot how good it was. Now I get kind of a divot in my forehead, so I take a little bit just there. A little bit onto the chin. If you have a very round forehead, I would skip a fine it in that area. Now that we have that on, I'm going to go in with some tinted moisturizer. This is actually BB cream from Kiehl's. It's their Skin Tone Correcting Beautifying BB Cream SPF Broad Spectrum 50. And the color I'm using is light. So I'm just going to take about mm, that much or so. And go in with the Beauty Blender and I'm just going to start bouncing this onto the skin. I'm going to now take a corrector for under the eye, just for the kind of dark area. This is from Giorgio Armani. Any like peachy color I find works well. My under eyes get really dry and I never sleep enough. So concealer is my friend. This concealer is from MAC. Um, I like it because there's a good shade range. This uh, one is called the Select Moisture Cover. It looks like a lip gloss packaging. And the color I'm using is NC15. And I find that this one does get about half a shade to a shade darker when you work it in. It's very hydrating. It's definitely not full coverage, but for this look, this is exactly what I want. I am going to set under the eye now. My favorite setting powder for that is Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Have you ever noticed how many funny faces you make when you put on makeup? Continuing on. I am going to take Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. I didn't plan how much MAC products I was going to use, but apparently I like several. And I'm just taking that onto the eyelid, and I'm going to blend this out with my finger before it sets, because these do set. They do actually have a decent amount of coverage. Um, another option besides soft ochre, because this one is more golden, um, they make one called Painterly, which is a little bit more fleshy, like pink toned. But on me, I really like this one. And they make several colors too, so they make um, browns and they make some that have shimmers in them. But this is the one that I tend to use on myself. So this is where we should be so far. I am now going to take this product here from Yves Saint Laurent, and it is the Sunkiss Blur Perfector Bronzer. This color is number three. I don't even know if this is something they still make. Take any cream bronzer. It can be... Any price point, doesn't matter. Um, I'm just gonna apply it with a old foundation brush. So after I just kind of swipe it on, I'm taking the Beauty Blender and I'm blending that out. 
So it should just give a little bit of color. A little bit of warmth. It's not really a contouring type of a thing. For this look, it's a natural look, so we're not really doing contour today. More so just about bronzing up and adding some life. I'm going to take a NARS multiple, any color, whatever works for you. And I'm just gonna wipe this um, right onto the high point of the cheekbone, outer corner of the eye area. Right like that. And then back in with the Beauty Blender and this is gonna blend it out. This particular shade has a little bit of a shimmer, iridescence to it. And again, I'm just gonna blend and blend out that edge so it becomes nice and soft. I'm gonna go back in with the MAC um, strobe lotion. I really hope they still make this product because it is fabulous. Okay, I'm just gonna take more of that onto the top of the cheekbone, top of the cheekbone again. We said dewy, we're doing dewy today. I think that I may want a little bit more tinted moisturizer just down here. Have you used any of these products before? If so, please let me know. And did you like them? Did you not like them? Did they work for you? Did you find something that you like better? Please, share. I have this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. The color is Seashell. They look like this. Um, what I love about them is that you can use them for anything. So you can use them as highlight on the face if you work quickly with them because they set very fast. So I'm gonna take some of this one on the inner corner of my eyes. And if you see me looking down, it's because I have a mirror right down here because I cannot see into the camera from where I am. So I'm just taking it onto the brow bone and then inner corner of the eye. And then I'm just gonna blend out with my finger. And there we go. A little bit of a highlight, brightened up the inner corner of the eye nicely, but it's subtle. I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer that I had from YSL. I'm just gonna take any old eyeshadow brush, preferably synthetic, but this one is a $1 brush from e.l.f. that I've had for like a million years. And I'm just taking that cream bronzer and I'm going through the creased eye with it. And this is going to be our natural, kind of no makeup, glowing skin look today. If you want, you can take a little bit of it under the eye as well. It's important to curl your lashes. If you already have curly lashes, then you are super lucky and I'm very jealous. I have decent lashes, but you can see once they're curled, they do make a big difference and they do really open up the eye. So I'm just gonna give them a light curl. Make sure that you obviously don't catch your skin in them because that's gonna hurt. I have a lot of clients that get really afraid of using lash curlers. And I'm like, what? You don't like lash curler? Why? They're like, oh, that one time in high school. And I'm like, ah, say no more. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, so I think that that is pretty good. I might need a little bit more bronzer just through the crease of this eye right here. And you know what? Maybe I'll do a little bit more on the cheek with the blush, because why the heck not? Now I'm just gonna take it on my finger instead of drawing it directly on this time. And I'm just gonna work it in with the tips of my fingers. I want a little bit extra color. I think that's pretty. Now if you do have any really stubborn spots that are absolutely bothering you, you can go in and kind of spot conceal those. I do have a little bit of like a foundation or a concealer or something that'll work through this really quick because I just have this spot here. I have a little bit of a spot right up there. I'm just gonna mix two different foundations together, why not? So I have, I don't know if you can see, I have a lighter and a darker foundation. 
mix them together so hopefully get something somewhat close to my skin color. So I have that, I'm just gonna take a finger and very lightly press in. I think that's fine for the spots. I'm not gonna stress over it. Um, I will enhance that one beauty mark that's right on my cheek that I actually really love. Just draw that in. This is like a taupe colored brow product. So I am going to apply some mascara. This is actually mascara primer from Benefit. It's their Their Real Lash Primer. Um, I love this one because it's tinted it has a nice brush that separates, let's go in real close for that, that helps to separate the lashes. And if you see the very end of it, it has some little like spiked bits on there, so you can really get every single lash. I'm just gonna go in with a mirror so I can, oh I still have the tag on it. Um, I'm gonna go in with a mirror so I can really see where I'm doing this, so I don't stab myself, because I am not the most graceful person ever. Now, I'm just gonna be using this product on its own, I don't know how easily you can see this, I'm coming in a little closer, but I just want to show the lashes without making it look like I have on mascara. Ooh, ah. Uh, and I have something in my eye. I feel it. So now you should have some lashes. There we go. Now I like to curl my lashes also after I have done mascara, so I'll do curl them before, apply mascara, and curl them after. That way I get the longevity of the lifted eye effect. I'm gonna finish this look off with a little bit of lip gloss. because we're going for that glowing, no makeup makeup look. This product is from Dior. It's their Lip Maximizer, and it gives just a little bit of color. So I think that's really, really, really pretty. Maybe I should scoot back a little so you can see. If you do want to take this look to the next step, because why not? Um, I like to take a powder highlighter, this particular one is from Too Faced. It is their Candlelight Glow Duo. I'm obsessed with this. I've had this for ages and it's so beautiful. If you have really oily skin, I would say go in with a powder and just lightly dust through the center of the face. I'm really oily, but I want this to be that kind of almost dewy wet look. So I'm fine with this now because in an hour or two, it's gonna be even more glowing. Um, if you have dry skin, I would definitely go in, or normal, normal to dry, I would go in with some MAC Fix Plus and I would just take this and spray it all over. And that's gonna give you just some extra, why not, some extra glow. I'll just use this mirror to fan myself. By doing the Fix Plus spray from MAC, it's gonna give an extra glow to the skin and really give you that beautiful, beautiful finish. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know what products you've used, if you've done makeup like this before, if this is a new look for you to try, um, and any suggestions on other videos you want me to do. I have a whole list of them, so please let me know what you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day. Bye. I showered earlier. My hair is wet, and you know what? Totally goes with this look. Love it.